Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today at the British Boutique Guitar Festival and I'm here with Les from TJS Guitars and we're going to talk about two really, really cool custom built guitars from Les's collection. So the first one I've got is this lovely S style guitar. So what would you like people to know about this guitar? Because this is a really stunning piece of work. Well, it's, it's um, got the um, Radio Shop Chris Buck pickup system in it and um, it's um, a one piece uh, black limber body with a bog oak top um, that's been carbon dated to 5,300 years. So that's, what, call, a that's of, what you call a vintage guitar. It's got a bit of history to it, you might say, yeah? uh, which um, when I looked it up on Google, um, it's based at the end of the Iron Age. Wow, okay. Um, That's really cool. Again, on the neck, the uh, the black limber is um, repeated on there. Goto, Goto locking tuners, um, aged hardware, courtesy of Goto. Um, and uh, all in all, I just think it's a lovely guitar. Yeah, it's a fantastic piece of work. It's really well put together. We were playing this in one of the videos earlier today when we were looking at these RD amps. And yeah, this, this is a really cool, really cool guitar. I love the uh, the 5,000 year old wood as well. That's what you call, I guess, new old stock? Is that what you call it? <laughs> Was it vintage old stock? Is that what we class this as? Yeah. <laughs> cool, well, I'm gonna play a bit now and we'll take a listen to how this thing sounds. So I'm going through the RD Amplification Duelist Custom. So I'm just gonna play a bit on the clean channel, move through some pickup tones, and then we'll look at some drive tones as well. Lovely, really snappy sounding pickups there. Oh, it's the first time I've actually played the Chris Buck set, and yeah, they sound great in this guitar. So now we're gonna do some overdrive tones, so I'll just do the same thing, play again for a little bit, and move through the five pickup positions so you can hear what this thing does. Can you move just a little bit that way oh. so we can get a bit stock in. <laughs> Cheers, man. How's that? Bit more, bit more. Bit more? Yeah, that's So now I've got this lovely semi-hollow T-style guitar. So 
what are the specs on this? What are the key features that you want people to know? Again, about? black limber body, yep. uh, along with a neck, um, fog oak top, obviously, um, <clears throat> Radio Shock P90s, Schroeder Bridge, and of course, the Bigsby, and House of Tone Electronics. Cool. So is that the same bog oak? Is that one also? It's exactly the same bog okay. oak as was on the Strat. Um, just a different, obviously, figured a little bit different. But um, mm. exactly the same. Um, again, 5,000 years old. Cool. How exactly does someone come into possession of 5,000 year old bog oak in order well, to make a it, guitar? It, it's, it's a little bit hard to get hold of. Um, <laughs> I've... Um, but yeah, it, it is obtainable, but okay. um, relatively quite expensive. Yeah. But um, obviously, we we're doing the Bog Oak series, so um, they're all based basically on on, a, on the same theme, mm. but um, with the same woods in mind because we were doing a series run. What would you say the benefits are of using wood this old for a guitar? Then is there any sort of tonal benefits or? Um, no, I wouldn't exactly say that. I, I just think it's uh, the look of it. Mm. Um, it's just something different. Um, and then you've got a bit of history there as well. chimey tone from those P90s. I'm a big fan of the radio. I love P90s. Yeah. There's something really special about a P90. It sort of gives you all that depth of a humbucker, but you still get that really nice sparkle at the top. Uh, uh, one of my favourites the P90s. I think it's the perfect pickup for people who like to get a little bit of drive and a little bit of fatness, but still have that really bright sound as well. So now, same thing again, all three positions with the drive cam of the Duelist on. <laughs> So yeah, that sounds absolutely fantastic as well. These are really cool guitars. So if people want to find out more about these, where can they go? Have you got a website? Yeah, well, we're basically on Instagram. Okay. Uh, they can uh, DM us, uh, get in contact um, in the usual ways, really. Um, so uh, that's about it, really. Cool, I will put some links to TJS guitars down below in the, in the description. So you guys can go check these guys out as well. Like I said, 5,000 year old bog oak, so that's pretty cool. So go check that out if you're interested in a guitar with some 5,000 year history attached to it. Big thanks to Mike for putting on the British Boutique Guitar Festival and a special thanks to the main sponsor of the event, David Dyke Luthier Supplies. Go check out all the other videos from all the other channels and brands at this event. It's a really cool weekend and there's a lot of really great British brands here as well. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of these guitars and go check out the links down below to see what these guys are up to. Thank you guys and I'll see you soon.